There's been a whole lot of discussion around Twitch, guys, as of late, where Dan Clancy, the CEO over there, has now made his not just physical statement, but a vocal statement on stream, responding to unfortunate news that Twitch has had another round of layoffs, this time around being 500 plus employees. We covered this last week, or just over 35% of the remaining workers at the company, something that rightfully so had a lot of people concerned about the future of was this gonna be the home for streamers as we go forward. Now, Dan taking to stream, I think is a great step for transparency as he kind of wanted to stress, hey, we have an exceptional business. We have a great business like some of the other tech giants out there, but this business, it needs to cut expenses and it has to be ran, to be honest, more frugally, which again, I, I love him being up front, but it, it does still spell a bit of concern for a lot of people out there. We really need to run the company based upon where we're at today. Um, uh, we've said, we've implied this before, um, where we say we need to run it sustainably, but you know, I can be, I'll be blunt. We aren't profitable at this point. Amazon has been extremely supportive of Twitch um, and a big thing for being sustainable over time is ensuring that um, we don't lose money. And that's a big part of my job because that's going to be what makes sure we can be here for a long term. Um, we've been very clear about the importance of our efforts to try and continue to provide more resources to streamers. Um, you know, we've already seen today some other announcements come out again, not just about Amazon, but about other tech companies. And um, so I think in general, there's this evolution in the tech industry where I think um, uh, and I've I've built much of my career in the tech industry. So I've seen this where um, uh, companies are being um, a little more careful about the size of the organization. Um, so, um, uh, and a little more thoughtful in terms of how big they need to be. So, but we are in um, very good shape. I'm extremely bullish. And in fact, I think this move puts us in a position um, where um, we are well positioned going forward. Um, I will tell you very clearly that um, uh, as we continue to grow, I'm going to be very careful as we grow the size of the organization. Um, uh, ultimately, um, the size of the organization um, you know, comes from the work that you do, and we need to make sure, not just with the size of the organization, but with every dollar we spend, that it is driving value to you, because I'd rather put the money in your pockets than um, spend it myself. And amidst all this saying cutting expenses, I would have to assume that means the two other layoffs we saw in 2023, crazy to say that's just last year, but it still kind of feels like this year, almost three layoffs in a single year for Twitch and this last one being a sizable portion of the company. But amidst that too, we talk about something that's also obvious and some people thinking Twitch not being profitable was obvious. Well, and now we know it for sure. I think it's just more of a confirmation of the likely thoughts uh, crossing people's minds. And when the CEO of Twitch openly admits it, you got to respect it, but you also got to wonder, hey, this has been, you know, a company for quite some time. Eventually, you got to turn a profit. He also alludes to the, the fact that, yes, Amazon says eventually Twitch has to turn a profit. And they're also, another very obvious thing, straying away from big streamer contracts. We've known that. It's been very obvious. But again, just like the latter, it's now confirmed. Uh, mother of Carp. How much of this layoff decision was Amazon's choice and how much was Twitch's choice? So the way to think of this is um, Amazon does expect us to move towards profitability. Um, uh, however, how we do that is very much in our control. Um, but when you look at our business, we had already been looking across the business for different areas where we could save money. Um, I do not think um, as we drive to profitability that um, uh, I, I think it's critical, the money that goes to the streamers that we can um, continue to provide those benefits that we, that we are doing right now. Um, as you know, we just recently launched the Partner Plus program and I've said repeatedly that we would like to expand those things. Um, and one of our, actually our biggest cost outside of that is our employee base. Um, and so that's one of the areas that um, we looked at because we had already been looking at many other places to look where we could save money. And the architect, hey, the architect, good to see, good to see you. Where will TwitchCon be? You're gonna have to wait to find out. We will be announcing that shortly. Uh, Lim3Slush, 
is Twitch going to be branching off of Amazon? I saw they're also doing layoffs. Will that affect partnership at all? No, we aren't going to be branching off of Amazon. Um, they're doing layoffs again. And I know many of you don't, you know, um, understand this because you don't necessarily live in the tech space. Um, you know, I was at Google from 2005 to 2014. Um, I will tell you that um, uh, the tech space, I think, has this idea that because an organization is bigger, that will necessarily drive growth to the service. And sometimes that's true, but sometimes that's not true. Bigger isn't always better. Um, uh, in fact, leaner sometimes is better. Uh, uh, and I think we need to run a lean operation. And again, this isn't unique to Twitch. I think um, Twitch and Amazon, I think Amazon is starting to realize how they can more efficiently and effectively run the company. Um, their business is very strong, much like Google's business is very strong. Google did a layoff today. They have a really strong business, um, uh, much like Amazon, much like Facebook, much like Apple, much like many of these companies, Uber. But they're saying we need to run the company differently. It's not that they aren't good businesses. They're actually exceptionally good businesses. And the same is true for Twitch. I think we're a solid business. We're just deciding that we need to run it a little more frugally. And so all of this just to share with all of you guys the kind of transparency and the great explanation from Dan Clancy. And by great, I mean expansive on all the different points he wanted to touch on throughout this stream, which by the way, he touched on a lot of other things, a lot of niche details that I'm just not going to share with you. You guys can go watch uh, his VOD about this if you're very interested because there are some very good answers in there. Beyond that, though, we look uh, take a quick look at his physical statement, this being an email issued to his employees, and also share with the community, again, Again, that transparency is is great. I think during a time of struggle for Twitch, I've said this on Twitter already, or X, whatever the frick you call it, I don't think Emmett Shear would have held up near as well as Dan Clancy is for being a public voice during the turmoil that was going to be ever present eventually at Twitch. But all that crap is hitting the fan right now with Dan. And I, I think he's just about as good as a guy you probably could have at the forefront during a difficult situation. But he reassures people. He, he apologizes for the situation. He shows his care that he has for his employees and says, even then reiterates, this business is a good business, but we got too many people, we got too much expense, and we gotta, we gotta cut it down. Like our expectations of where Twitch should be and where it is currently, they didn't align. And so we gotta make adjustments, just like he said in previous statements, other tech giants do all the time. They do layoffs. Now leading into one last reply I wanna share with all of you, Carl Jacobs got involved in this and so too did tons of creators. I think Co Carnage and Gathalion had some great thoughts on this. We'll probably touch on in future videos, but people may be referencing like YouTube and how long YouTube took to turn profit which I don't think is the best comparison for me. I, I believe after looking it up, it took only a handful of years for YouTube to turn a profit in a market that is now dominated by YouTube and they have showcased their long-term profitability and, and dominance in the space. Whereas Twitch has been around for a lot longer and still has yet to get over that hump. So I actually saw the opposite with this statement. I actually had a more of a concern, you know? But at the end of the day, I will still say this. We stream on Kick every single week, but if you are a new streamer or you want to be the biggest streamer, the audience still is on Twitch. Even though with YouTube numbers, YouTube live numbers are still gigantic as well compared to the other two, but I still think Twitch is the place to go for, for the best streamers on earth. I think that's probably a fair statement. Maybe that changes in the future, especially with this news and what comes next for Twitch, but it's still the place to be. And there's so much else that Twitch has to figure out. Profitability being clearly one of them now confirmed by their CEO. So what do you guys think? Is it possible to make money in the live streaming industry? Even in that statement saying they gave away a billion dollars to creators and streamers, which is awesome. And that's with them keeping 50-50 for a lot of these. Uh, it's just, it's it's wild. It, is it possible to host all these streamers without them having to pay at some extent? Like, is it possible? That's what I'm asking you guys. We got to figure this out together. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know. Uh, fun discussions though. Till next time, take care of yourselves. What are y'all thinking? And we'll see you back here sometime soon.